Hello. Welcome to a new episode of Psico Activo. This weekend is going to be kind of tricky uh, because I have a wedding. My cousin is marrying uh, and I have a lot of family visiting. So it's going to be kind of difficult to put out videos. Uh, I'm going to try tomorrow too, but Sunday for sure I'm not going to be able to put anything out. But I do have something interesting I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, it has to do with, shocker, Dr. Greenberg. Um, there's an experiment he did that I've talked about many times before with Dr. Amit Goswami. Uh, it's called Quantum Entanglement. It's, called, it's really called uh, Transferred Potential. But it's like a continuation or a, uh, an attempt to prove that uh, legendary phrase from Einstein, spooky action at a distance. And at first when I heard the phrase, I couldn't understand what it meant. But now I kind of do. I think what uh, spooked Einstein was the fact that... Uh, there could be communication between two particles that were very far away and he couldn't understand what made that communication happen and it's the non-locality right and back in 2022 uh, there was a Nobel Prize awarded to three different physicists who essentially proved quantum entanglement was real between particles but Greenberg wanted to do it between human minds so there is a new development here it says right here, quantum entanglement just got a whole lot weirder. It isn't just for identical particles. For the first time, entanglement has been demonstrated between particles with opposite charges, revealing atomic nuclei in unprecedented detail. In early 2023, scientists showed entanglement between a positive and a negative pion enabling new ways to probe atomic structures. This experiment, conducted with the star detector, found that non-identical particles can interfere with each other, changing our understanding of quantum mechanics. This discovery offers a novel met method of measure the radius and structure of heavy atomic nuclei. This is coming from the big think not the big thing, big think. And I wrote something to respond to this as a tweet, and I am going to show you the tweet. It says right here, I wrote, it is also possible and was about to be proven between human minds, that is quantum entanglement. The scientist who was about to prove it in 1994 never boarded a plane that, was, that would take him to India in order to complete the, ex the experiment. This scientist remains missing to this day. Here's the white paper that breaks it down, but it is incomplete without the last experiment, which was supposed to happen between human minds that would already... Uh, interacting with each other close and then they were separated it was supposed to happen between mexico and india when the doctor was about to board the plane to india he never did and then it was found you know the the rest of the story it was found that he had ties to the cia and all that stuff right but i attached the white paper that's unfinished uh, that he did with uh, Dr. Jacobo Greenberg, Manuel de la Flor, uh, Leia Ati, and Dr. Amit Goswami. It's called the Einstein Podolsky Rosen Paradox in the Brain The Transferred Potential. So, I have a good friend who we talk a lot on Twitter. It's Logan, Logan Proch. I don't know how to pronounce uh, his last name, but I'm going to leave his Twitter in the description. He uses a tool that can uh, essentially 
transform white papers into uh, explanations to lay people, such as me, because I'm far too stupid to understand uh, physics fully. I kind of do, but not really. So he did us the solid, so shout out to Logan, to uh, put this paper through that tool, and it came out like this. I'm going to show you the, the text he got out from this AI, uh, from the paper. I'm going to also leave the paper in the description, of course. It says, results of the research paper. Subjects who interacted and maintained direct communication, so transferred potentials in their EEG activity, indicating brain-to-brain -brain non-local EPR correlation. That's one. Distinct evoked potentials, DEP, in one subject corresponding to similar potentials in the other subject, demonstrating a significant correlation between the brains. Then... Statistical analysis revealed correlation indexes ranging from 0 0.62 to 0 0.92 between evoked and transferred potentials. And then, control subjects did not exhibit transfer potentials supporting the unique nature of the observed brain-to-brain -brain correlations. The study utilized spectral analysis correlation coefficient and t-tests to compare EEG activities under various conditions, confirming the non-local local EPR correlations between human minds. Okay. The research provides experimental evidence supporting the existence of macroscopic quantum systems in the human brain through EPR non-local correlations between brains. Limitations of the research paper. The study focused on a limited sample size and may benefit from larger cohorts to enhance the generalizability of the findings. This, the research primarily utilized EEG activity to assess brain-to-brain -brain correlations, potentially overlooking other neural mechanisms that could contribute to the observed effects. The separation distance of 14.5 meters between subjects might introduce environmental factors or electromagnetic interference that could influence the results. This is from the experiments that were made in Mexico that where they put together two people inside a room and then they separated them by 14.5 meters and they proved that this is real. What they were about to do in India was far away thousands of kilometers away so that's why that's when the doctor disappeared and then finally the study duration and experimental conditions were relatively short term warranting further investigation into the long term implications of brain to brain correlations the paper did not delve deeply into the specific neural processes of or quantum mechanisms underlying the observed EPR correlations, leaving room for more in-depth exploration and analysis. The research did not explore the potential impact of individual differences in brain function or cognitive abilities on the observed transfer potentials, which could be a relevant factor to consider in future studies. So, essentially, uh, I didn't know how to run this through AI and get such concise explanations. And I thank Logan for that. Because there's been a recent uptick in potential uh, improvement of human mind potential. When Ross Coldhart spoke to people on Reddit, they asked them if there was a word that we might start trying to learn in this topic. And at first when he said it, he wrote it, I couldn't get it really. I had to catch it on the third or fourth time. And then I realized that it was connected to this. He wrote the word psionics, which is essentially 
mind powers. Uh, do with that what you will. I am also going to explain that spooky action at a distance from the YouTube channel Cosmo Knowledge. I'm going to leave a short clip right here. Einstein once referred to entanglement as spooky action at a distance. One particle can effectively know something about another particle instantaneously, even if those two particles are a universe away from each other. This is also known as quantum teleportation. In 2019, scientists confirmed that information could be passed between photons on computer chips, even when the photons were not physically linked. And this is huge. Okay, so... Finally, uh, just to let you guys know uh, how important I believe this is, uh, there's a good chance that uh, whatever happened to the doctor, it was kind of an, on purpose. And I have noticed that the more I dig into the case, the more I realize that the people I'm trying to speak to are kind of dodging me. They're kind of avoiding me. And... I I, re I read one of the recent uh, tweets I made, and one of the one of my friends from Twitter told me that uh, he was at a Twitter space where Dr. Gary Nolan was. And as you guys know from the previous uh, video, I'm trying to speak to him because I believe that his findings on the brain with the caudate putamen and the basal ganglia have a lot to do with this human potential. And this person was trying to talk to Dr. Nolan because he realized that Dr. Greenberg's work was very important to try and understand the human potential uh, of the mind. And as soon as he asked about Dr. Greenberg, he was dropped out. And the people that I've been talking to who are in any way linked to either the government or this group i'm going to i'm going to go ahead and say it i i think that uh this invisible college may have something or may know who dr greenberg is i'm not going to go as far as to say they know what happened because I really don't know. So I'm not going to say any anything like that. I honestly hope and I expect that they do know who he is. If they know what happened, that would be really great. But I'm not going to risk anything or try to point fingers at anyone. Because for all I know, the doctor left on his own accord and he agreed to keep investigating whatever he was about to discover in private and obviously uh, if if they had all the toys for him and they could give him the respect that he didn't get in mexico i obviously would have uh, possibly considered uh going with them what doesn't fit to me is that he left his daughter and that really doesn't sit well with me. I don't know. Maybe they... I don't know. You know? It's a, it's a murky case. I know I may not never get to solve it. Uh, but I am also very, very much interested in the work. And the possibilities of discovering what we're capable of through his work. Because he was also working with children who had these innate capabilities from birth. And what he did with some of these children in terms of trying to discover their potential, it's very interesting and very important. And it keeps happening to this day in many countries. It's not just Greenberg, you know? Uh, where I think that they uh, tried to silence him or told him to not continue doing the work in, in public is with that transfer potential experiment because had he proven this in public he wouldn't have only won the Nobel prize uh the Nobel the Nobel physics prize uh he would have 
probably let the world know what we can do. And this is where I think his core message lies. Because it doesn't matter if the UFOs or whatever those are uh, show themselves to us or or we learn that we're part of some kind of farm that they have and we're just cattle. That doesn't matter if we get to prove in public what the doctor was studying and trying to discover. Because essentially uh, he believed through this intergic theory that we have the potential to create reality around us with our minds. And the, the transfer potential in that spooky action at a distance it's also telepathy and it's also also telekinesis and it's also remote viewing. It's all of the abilities combined, you know, uh, matter manipulation. And and I, I believe that what he was studying with the shamans was that all of those abilities the shamans had were that. So... I'm going to leave all the uh, stuff in the description that uh, hopefully will help you understand why this is very important, if not one of the most important cases and works uh, for humanity right now, especially with everything that's been happening lately. It kind of feels like we're running against the clock, guys, and we need to continue trying to dig and trying to discover whatever the doctor was trying to tell us. So I'm going to leave you with that. I want to thank you for all the support I've been getting. Uh, this channel is just keeps growing um, thanks to you. I'm going to ask you that if you find value in this video, please like, comment, subscribe, share and keep the conversation going i love talking to you guys in the comments so let's keep this ball rolling right this is it for today's video until next time bye bye